in. Happy morning birthday. Happy morning birthday. Mm, thank you. Is today my birthday? Yes, it's your birthday for a whole week. Woo! My birthday for a week. And look what I woke up to. Don't look at all this. Look what I woke up to for breakfast. I roll over and let's see if it's gonna focus. It's not gonna focus. I wake up and Aaliyah has got me took care of. It's not gonna get it. She's got me birthday cake for breakfast. Ain't that nice? Thank you, Ia. Good morning. I will have a protein shake with it too, so it won't be all bad. Toast and eggs, and rice pudding, and broccoli. You're having broccoli for breakfast? Yeah. Fresh or cooked? Or? It's fresh. So you got fried eggs and Ezekiel bread. That's something we just started doing a few months ago. I don't eat it, but the kids do. And then Aaliyah makes rice pudding. And it's really smooth and creamy. Well, I guess you would call it like cream of rice. It's, it's like in between cream of rice and rice pudding. And that's something they've been enjoying. So what you got for breakfast? Eggs and toast and pudding and broccoli. What did you think about the broccoli? It's not a breakfast thing. <laughs> you think it's a breakfast thing, Anna? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Joe, what you been doing while you're waiting for your breakfast? You were what? You show me what you did? What is it? You got a spoon for the rice pudding and a fork for everything else? Okay. Did you, what'd you call her? What, what is that? Chalk. Chalk. Wet chalk. You got the chalk wet? Yeah. And what was it like? Water. No, you kept saying it was like... It, it was like glue. Like glue? You kept saying slime. It was just like slime. Slime. Yeah. But what was your picture? What did you draw? Uh, that. But what, yeah. is, what is that? Chalk. <laughs> I know it's chalk, but what is it a picture of? Slime? Chalk. Slime chalk. Slime chalk? Is that good, Joe? Do you like your breakfast? Was it plate looking good? Yeah. Did you get seconds? Uh-huh. What do you say to Ia? I got <laughs> Hold on, wait, you're not cleaned up yet. What do you tell Ia for breakfast? anything go over there to Anna and get clean. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> you a nut? No. Yeah you are a nut. Mm -mm. You're a nut nut and hello. a half. Hello. Say hello you nice people out there. Hello you nice people out there. Tonight. Say thank you for coming for breakfast today. Thank you for coming to breakfast today. <laughs> Turn it a little bit. And a little bit where? To a little bit to them. To me, and to me. A little bit to them. Who's them? Ah! Don't mess with it. You love Biddy. It is a video. It's recording you right no, now. No, the red part. The red part. The red part. Here? No. Up here. Yeah. That makes the video stuff. You want to say bye? No. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How everyone is here. You're a nut. I'm gonna turn it off. Uh -uh. <laughs> Let me turn it no. off. No. I got this hand. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Daddy, do it. Hello. So yesterday on my birthday. We went to record me eating my birthday cake and accidentally the button didn't get pressed. And so I'm gonna record it today, but it was a little bit not sweet enough for me. And so Aaliyah drizzled a little bit of the um, tapioca syrup on it. So, you want a bite too? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll see. Also, wet stuff. 
of the wet stuff. Well, let me get my bite honey? of my beautiful, healthy cake. Mm -hmm. And because food actually has histamines in it, and leftovers get a lot of histamine. All of my food, once it's made, it goes straight into the freezer. Bye, bye! So that it doesn't, uh-uh, don't, don't you touch it. Um, so that it doesn't get higher histamines in it. So my cake was frozen, but it's been sitting out for a little while, and it's fine. You want ice cream cake? Yeah? Let's take a bite from me, my bite. Oh, and, and Micah has decided this is gonna be my birthday week, so it gets to last longer. Don't Put you your hand it. down. Mmm. Mm mmm. You wanna try it? No, what? Is that what the honey? Wet? It's tapioca syrup. Oh. So I got you some of the wet stuff. I want y'all to see the syrup. It's bizarre. It's almost like um, hot, glue. hot glue. And it's sweet, but it's not. Well, that's got cake all mixed in it. Let me. Can you see? It's like. It's not focusing on it. It's like hot glue almost as far as the kind of texture, <clears throat> not texture, but how sticky it is. All right, here you go. Here's you some. Mmm. Mmm, is that good? Mm hmm You like it? Mm hmm Did Aaliyah do a good job? Mm hmm Yep, is she a good chef? Oh, another bite? Yeah. The last bite and then the rest is mine. And this is my breakfast. That was a big old bite. But I'll have a protein shake with it and there's no no refined sugar, so it's, it's healthier for you than a pancake. Turn around and tell them what you think. You are so bizarre. Tell them, tell them what you think. You got a mouthful? Okay. Well, it's really good and healthy. <laughs> All right. What? You gonna tell them what you think? All right, tell them. That is amazing. <laughs> Looky what we got here. This is our outdoor stove and oven. Um, we'll use this to help keep it from getting so hot inside. So it's got a stove area up there. And inside, I have some biscuits getting made. That smells really, really good. And Leah also made me some, um, some not grape, blueberry, blueberry jelly. Um, Blueberries have enough pectin in it that it's really easy to make jelly out of them by doing nothing except for she cooks it in butter and then blends it up and then just lets it cool and it thickens and that's all she does. Maybe she adds a little stevia to it to sweeten it. So I was wrong. Yesterday I thought it was supposed to be the coldest on my birthday and it was today. So today it um, was 28 this morning. Oh no, some of the jugs are blown over. Uh, you see, it's just a... Just a couple of them. Hopefully it happened today. Let's see what, what damage we have. Oh dear. But I will say none of the cups blew over so far. So that's good because the cups are normally the ones that blow. So let's see what happened. Well, let's see. They're still there. They looked a little yellow, but it's possible they looked a little yellow anyway. Um, the, uh, using any kind of jug or greenhouse or anything block some of the sun rays or some of the some of the stuff that the plants like uh, so it's possible that they're already they've been there for a little while wanting some full sun and they're not getting it but it may have to do with the cold last night so so two we're doing better today yesterday we had more than two more than two blow away so let's look and see I'm seeing tomatoes everywhere Still in their jug, so they're still there. Uh, they might not be happy. Uh, not not happy, but not perfectly happy. So this one blew away. And this is one yesterday, I think, that blew away. I must not put it on right. Because um, it's, like I said yesterday, we normally don't have any problem with these. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Yep, still in there. So today is Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. So come Sunday, all of these things are coming off. So this morning it was 28. It's supposed to be um, 33 tonight or tomorrow morning. And that should be the coldest. So we should be done and not have to worry about it anymore. And after, you know, we won't do anything Saturday. 
Saturday, I think, is a little bit, a little bit chilly, but not that cold. Maybe still in the 40s. And then Sunday, we'll we'll pull all the jugs up. Sunday or Monday, somewhere in there. So here's a little chickies of sparring. Y'all sparring in there, chickies? Hey, chicky chickies. Let's go see my chickies. I always come and tell my chickies, hey. Oh, and then I'm gonna have to sit down. Let's see. Hi there, babies. Hi there, little rooster. Hey, little hen. Y'all hiding. Oh no, somebody took my my seat. Oh, hi there, chickies. I guess I'll squat down. Hi, sweetie. Y'all coming to visit? Yep, I like my chickens. I know some people think I'm crazy, but I like my chickens. Hey there, chickies. Hey, sweeties. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't know, um, I have spent over six years now on bed rest and couch rest, where I, you know, I could get up and move to the couch or get up and move outside, but I had to pretty much be sitting um, pretty much 99% of the time, 98% of the time, I mean, I could get up and go to the bathroom. Um, but there was actually some time during that time that I couldn't even really do, I mean, I could do that, but sometimes I actually had to have help, have, have, have to have Michael walk with me, uh, stand outside the door to make sure I didn't pass out, things like that. Um, and then last, not last, in 2019, in the summer, I actually started to have some improvements. Um, Josiah was only nursing like once or twice a day, and I was, I had been doing some treatments for Lyme and stuff for a while at that time. And I ended up getting bit by another tick and getting a bullseye and I got so sick then that uh, Michael actually hasn't been able to leave me to work since um, June of 2019. And after that, um, it was full blown. I, I didn't get up for anything other than to go to the bathroom or to go out to the car. And that was absolutely, absolutely it. There was no strolling around the yard or even slowly before, by the time where I had improved, I was able to stroll around the yard um, slowly, I could just, you know, slowly take a little stroll and, um, go, go see what was going on outside or sit out there and watch the kids play. And, um, so for over a year and a half now, um, coming up on actually two years, uh, really 99% of the time has been in bed. And even when I went to go to the bathroom or go out to the car, um, I can't, you, I, I don't know if you can really tell with the angle on the camera, but I have to walk bit over with my head down to keep my heart rate um, lower. And even at then, it's like 120 to 140. Resting, it's, it's normally in the 80s. Um, but to stand up within just a few minutes, my heart rate will be 170 and my blood pressure dropped over 30 points. And um, it took probably about five to seven minutes when they tested me at the cardiologist. And I was at, at that 170 and had dropped over 30 points and I was starting to pass out. Every All my symptoms got super intense. I was almost panicking, they were so intense. And um, uh, my vision started, my, my vision did, it blacked out. And as, as they were laying the table down, I was just starting to pass out. If they had not laid it down at the time that they did, I would have passed out. So um, depending on what's going on with my body, sometimes I can you know stand up you know a little bit more sometimes I have to have my head like way down where it's like level with my heart bent over and so it just depends on what's going on but um, I've done a lot of stuff working with with practitioner I'm working with online and here lately I have been able to handle like I can't be out here long I can walk out to the chickens and walk over to the garden and then I have to immediately sit down or squat down <clears throat> I have to get my heart rate down and, and it's hard um, it, it is good for me because it, it makes my my insides happy to see the animals and see the see the plants and to feel like oh I'm getting out I feel the sunshine um, but I still can't breathe the air uh, I can still smell all the dirt and the mold and the mulch and in the uh, smell all the mold and the dirt and the mulch and just in rotten leaves or or anything I smell mold just just in dirt so I can't I can't do that but I have been able to actually sit out and be in the sunshine and um, that's actually a, a newer thing <clears throat> over the last few years, ever since, so just size four, um, since when he was born, I would have an autoimmune reaction if I got in the sunshine. And it would, um, it would look like I had a really bad sunburn almost instantly, and I would swell up and get hot, and um, 
And even if it didn't get on my skin, let's say it got on my clothes, I would break out in these streaks. It, it looked almost like big giant veins everywhere, but they were just red streaks everywhere. And um, so this is a new thing. I actually got sunburned um, like a week ago or something. And that was, that was a new thing where like I could actually handle being in the sun long enough to get sunburned without having a severe reaction. So that's a, a praise that I'm happy for. So anyway, so coming out, it's making me happy. I can't be up long, but it is... Um, so I've probably dropped that bed rest 98, 99%, so a little bit less than that. But it still is a very much, I have to be sitting down or squatted down and laying down um, most of the time, probably still, probably still 95% of the time, but I'm able to actually walk a little bit. So I'll come out a time or two, maybe three times a day, but I'll just walk out and then sit down. So it's not that much, but it's a big blessing and it makes me happy and uh, praising for Every, everything that I can so I'll walk over there now that my heart's rested a little bit and we'll go see if anything got hurt in the garden looky there Papa's peas they got blossoms on them so that's good ours don't have any blossoms yet but I think it's going to be coming in this next um, next pod that's pop not pod but this set of leaves that's coming up top right here I think there's going to be there's going to be some blossoms in there so let's see was it this one? Uh, I think it was this one. I'm going to see if that one little seedling is still there. That ground cherry. Oops, I didn't let you see. Uh, the ground cherry seedling that's trying to sprout right there. It's still there, so that's good. So after tomorrow, the threat should be over. Alrighty. Look at that beautiful, that beautiful carrot, not carrot, radish right there. Make sure you tell your plants they're beautiful. Make sure you talk to them and tell them, hey, and they're doing a good job. I might sound crazy, but they'll appreciate it. So actually, I'm going to go over there and give that one strip. I'm doing a test on some loving. Hello, my little plants. So I'm going to come over here, this one strip. And there we go. Am I in the right spot? Yeah. Well, hello there, little lettuce. Y'all are growing. I can actually tell the difference. They're already getting bigger just from, I think, from yesterday. So let's see. It's getting a little taller. I think they are. These up here are definitely getting a little bigger. Aren't they looking nice? Y'all are growing so good. So this will be my experiment to see if those do better than the areas I'm not talking to. All right, I don't want to take off these cups because I don't feel like getting all the dirt back in there. But can you see the greens in there? Peppers are nice and happy. So I'm glad. I'm glad about that. Let's see about this one. Let's see if I can get some of the water to fall down. I can see them. Can you see the green in there? They are happy. Oh yeah, that one's good. You can see that one real good. Can you see it? It's still nice and green. It's uh, it's not hurt at all. Let's see. And get this next one. Can you see? See in there? Those are happy. So that makes me glad. So I think I can call my um, winter sewing modification a success. And anyway, so I'll have to do the, once we take the cups off, I'll do the figuring up um, to see what percentage of stuff um, didn't sprout and what did and find out what the success rate of it was. But for sure, um, it was a very high percentage of things are sprouted. Very few tomatoes haven't sprouted. And like I said in the other video, it might be that um, since the kids were doing it, maybe a hole got skipped too. But there's several holes that had, you know, three or four tomatoes come up. So we could actually transplant some of those over if we want to. Or I might use them to fill in with some of the uh, flower seeds that I went crazy on. I'll show you some of those in a little bit. So, um, you know, I might fill in those holes with some of that and make it all pretty. But it's about time for me to go eat my biscuit. Wow, look what you and Papa have done. Y'all got a new bed put in here. That's a big one, too. Have you been helping, Micah? That's an okra. Oh, it's the okra bed. I was, like, getting the steps out of here. Yeah, we put two rows, actually, in there. Uh-huh. Well, good. Yeah. You're getting the sticks out? Well, good. And I also made this part down. Uh-huh. Do you have some good tea? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What kind do you have? How, how do you know we had tea? Because you had to get permission to get the tea. What kind did you have? Mm. Mm, I can't remember. Can't remember? But it was good? No, ready. Here we go. What do we got in my plate, Joe? Hmm? What do we got in my plate? What is uh, this? Chicken. 
jelly. Jelly. I was wrong. It does not have butter in it. So I guess you wouldn't really call this jelly. I guess it'd be jam. Let's see. It's nice and thick and spreadable. So she she said it was um, blueberries, stevia, and she put some tapioca syrup. It doesn't have butter or anything in it. And let's see. It's not. This is a grain-free biscuit. It is a uh, cassava. This brand of cassava, we don't like as good as the other brand we had got on Amazon. The one on Amazon, it was, stop focusing. It was real, um, let's see if I can get the focus. Let's see, it's not wanting to focus for some reason. It was real white and light and fluffy and it was very similar to even like a white flower. And this one, I can't let you see, this one's kind of golden. It's like an orangey color and it's more firm. Um, so if you ever go to get cassava flower, get the whiter color and it tastes more mild than this too. Yes, would you like a bite? Yeah. Let's see if you like my cassava. It's not focusing on you either. Why? There we go. What do you think? What does that mean? That's good. That's good? You want another bite? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks good. You can make your blueberry donuts out of that. You want some of my chicken and cauliflower gravy? You do? All right, lick the jelly off. So over here we got, we'll focus on it. So we got chicken in here and this is cauliflower gravy and it's very much like gravy. So it's got blueberries on it now. Alrighty, let's see what you think about the cauliflower chicken. And I can't eat rice, so I do have a little bit of, a little bit of rice. All right, let's see what you think. What you think about that? Mmm. Mm. Even after you had the blueberries? Yep. All right, well, I'll go try some now.